The FileWave kiosk allows for you to create a portal for your end users. This allows for your end users to install optional content or applications at will. We're going to build a kiosk now for one of our client machines and I'm going to walk you through that process from start to finish. Here we have a client selected. Building a kiosk association for this client is as simple as building a standard one. We're going to go to our associations tab and we're going to grab the file sets that we want to associate out to this client as optional installations for software. These three applications are applications that you might see associated out to a client but might actually just be optional installations. So in this case we need to simply select those installations and edit their associations. Marking them as kiosk takes away our normal scheduling options and makes them completely optional installations for our end user. In addition to applications, we're going to install some documents as well. So we've already got some documents pulled out and set up to be deployed as kiosk file sets. So we're going to drag those over. And again, just as before, we're going to grab these documents and set their association level to kiosk. And last but not least, we want to add some videos to the desktop for our end users as well. So we've created a file set for that, but we need to prep it for our kiosk. So to do that, we're going to go in and take our training videos file set that we've created and simply edit its properties. Here you can see that we can create a category for the kiosk and an icon for this particular file set. File sets created with file set magic or from application of import or folder will automatically have their icon set. In this case, we're going to use a custom icon for these videos. So we'll simply browse to the icon file that we want to use. This looks like a good one. And we'll pull that one in. In this case, we're going to place the file set in the media category. So now we're ready to associate this file set out to our client. And again, we'll do that simply by dragging and dropping building this as a kiosk association and now we're ready to update our model. Now that we've created our kiosk file sets and deployed them out to our client machine, our FileWave client will check into the FileWave server and notice that it has a kiosk association waiting for it. It will then create the kiosk for our end users and you'll notice on the Mac that shows up in the top right hand corner of the menu bar. On the Windows machines it will show in the system tray in the lower right hand corner. Clicking Install Software will present us with our FileWave kiosk while we see all of our associations available to us. Or we can view by category, documents, applications, or media. Clicking on Install will allow us to install an application directly from the FileWave server, even for a non-admin. This allows you to ensure that your users are downloading a safe, approved version of the application rather than giving them administrator rights and allowing them to go out and download these applications from unknown sources. We can also install our media download as well. This will create a folder for us of our training videos on the desktop with the new instructions in place ready to watch. The FileWave kiosk is also completely brandable allowing you to modify and change the kiosk to fit your environment. 